firmware upgradable radios give you the opportunity to extend the useful life of your radio by adding features and fixing bugs. Let's look at how easy it is to upgrade the TID radio H3+. Plus. <music> Most HTs nowadays, whether GMRS or HAM HTs, are what is known as SOC or Systems on a Chip radios. With these radios, most of the radio's important activities are handled by software or firmware loaded onto a digital signal processor of some type or another. There are, of course, a number of components that are not on the chip, but the radio's heartbeat happens on the chip. Radios with upgradable firmware allow you to use the most up-to-date firmware on your device. Updated firmware often fixes user-discovered bugs found after the device went on sale, and sometimes updates add features or capabilities that add value to your device. TID Radio's H3 radio is one such device. TID Radio has developed an interesting approach to firmware upgrades. Instead of using a firmware upgrader application, they've included that function into the OD Master system. With an OD Master account and when logging into the OD Master website, you can select the H3 Plus radio and upgrade the firmware quickly and easily without downloading .bin files and opening a dedicated firmware upgrader app. Before we go through that process with the H3 Plus, I need to let you know that my H3 Plus radios were provided by TID Radio for a review that I'll link on the end card to this video. I'd also like to invite you to click the thumbs up button below the video and to subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. I really appreciate it. Let's jump into a screen capture of me upgrading my H3 Plus using the OD Master website. So here you can see we have logged into the OD Master website and we've got all of the models that OD Master supports down over here. I'm going to close this ball thing because we're looking for a TID radio and we're going to go down to the TID radio H3 Plus. Now they've got Plus, the HAM and GMRS. We're just going to go to the Plus. Now you can see that I've saved a couple of code plugs or configuration files here already. Uh, and I have set the radio up and that's a two-handed thing so it was hard to film. So here's a picture of the radio in upgrade mode. You notice that both of the, the lights on top of the radio are green. You do that by pressing the main push to talk, the number one, and then turning it on while connected to the programming cable. And so that's really pretty easy to do. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to firmware upgrade. And you can see that we're getting ready to go here. We've got a list of what the software is doing. And we're going to go to request a port, and that'll give us a list of our ports. Now, I've looked at my device manager, and I know that COM port 4 is the one that this TID radio programming cable comes up with in my computer. So now I've connected. It's got a serial device listed there. And I'm down here, I want to use the latest version, which in this case is version 1.29. I'd encourage you to join the TID Radio Facebook group. When they make releases, they announce it there. And so it'll show up on your, uh, on your smartphone if you go into Facebook once in a while. And then we're going to start the uh, firmware update. We're just going to press start. And so you can see it's starting. It's writing various things, and you can see over here the various actions are listed as they occur. Now this is going to take a few seconds, so I'm going to edit out this waiting period and we'll join it when it's just about ready to finish. So we're at about 98% now. We're verifying the radio rebooted. And the firmware turns back to green. So if you had another radio, you could go through the process again. Now, one of the things I did notice that on this firmware, the default for the brightness is low. And so the first thing I'm going to do is go into my radio and change the brightness level back to level two or level three. So that's a little bit easier to read. 
And then the other thing I'm going to do, as shown in this photo right here, I'm going to verify that we've got the newest edition of that firmware, that 1.29, in the radio. So that's all there is to it here on the OD Master app. There are several radios that allow firmware updates. Those radios use similar but different upgrade schemes. The TID radio upgrade process using the OD Master website is one of the easier methods out there. If you've been fearful of upgrading your radio, I hope you've seen that it's a pretty easy upgrade process. Join me over here for my main review of the TID Radio H3 Plus radio. Thanks for watching and 73.